Okay, so today I want to show you a couple things about making your graph in sheets. So I took somebody's data. Um, their independent variable is amplitude. You can see they changed the amplitude. They kept frequency the same. And their wavelength is the dependent variable. When they make their graph, they should just make sure that the amplitude is on the x-axis. Wavelength is on the y-axis. This is the dependent variable. So as you know, you highlight what you want to include in the data chart, and you just click Insert Chart. Um, the scatter chart is what pops up for me. That does not really show the changes that I want to ch um, have in my graph. So I'm going to change that. Instead of a scatter chart, I'm going to make it a line chart. Now I look at it, and there's a couple weird things. First of all, there's no label on the vertical axis. Uh, I have frequency on here. That's fine. But now I have this weird thing where I've got the data going up and then back, which is kind of a strange thing. It's a very difficult way to read a graph. So before I continue, I would want to go back and look at why the graph goes like this right, where I, it goes out here and then comes back. And you can see, if you look at the chart, it's 0 0.5, 0 0.87, 0 0.28. So really, he wants to change these values so that it's 0 0.28, 0 0.5, 0 0.87. Um, that would be the first thing that you would need to change so that you would have the data going in order. Okay, but in the meantime, we also have to add some... Uh, labels here. So what we're going to do is um, customize it. Okay, um, I'm going to give it the vertical axis title. I'm going to say is, well, it's already in there, wavelength. No, I would to usually have to type that in. Okay, so now I have wavelength here. I know that my frequency is this. That's fine. Um, and I have the red line as wavelength. So I can see the changes as amplitude increases, the wavelength changes slightly. Also, frequency and wavelength is not a very good title for this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the title to um, Patterns in Waves in a Battle. Okay, so now I have a nice graph. Well, it's not nice yet, right? I would have to go back and change this data to make it look better. I'm going to do that now so you can see the difference in the graph, but you don't actually have to keep watching if you know what to do here. So, because it takes a minute. Take. Oops. The cool thing is, the graph changes at the same time. As I change the data, the graph changes. Okay, so um, you can see I have the graph done, uh, I don't know, is changing an amplitude really affecting the pattern? Uh, at least not by measuring um, here, right? What I measured here, it doesn't change it. So um, that's something to consider too. Okay, that's all. I uh, hope this helped.